Hey everybody, I wanted to show you guys uh, some differences I got out of timing my car today. Um, if you're curious how to time your car, what you do is, let me find it real quick. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. See that little uh, notch thing right there? You get a timing light, which if you don't know how to use one, it has a clamp which you hook up to a spark plug wire. You're supposed to hook it up to cylinder number one, and then you hook it up to your uh, battery. And you flash the light, and there's a little notch in your crankshaft pulley, which goes within that little, like, the little range there. And if you look it up on the internet, it'll tell you what degrees it is. But anyway, I was 18 degrees out. So uh, what you do after you find out how far out you are and everything, you usually have somebody hold the timing light. And the thing is, you want to get to the middle notch on the slot. And uh, you have somebody looking at it while you loosen up these bolts. You loosen those bolts and you can move your distributor. You you want to go that way to make it go backwards and this way to make it come forwards. And you just turn your distributor until the other person tells you you're in time. But uh, after timing it, I noticed a major difference in power. And it even sounds better. I mean, it was sputtering before and now it's not sputtering and it's actually sounding smooth. I mean, here. Since I timed it, it's not smoking as, it, as much as it once was, and it's idling better, and it's, I used to get um, ex nasty smelling exhaust coming inside my car, that doesn't happen anymore. It made, I mean, it made a major difference, so it's a good thing to check whether your car is in time or not. So, uh, yeah, that's all.